Marley. This is the International Grand, uh, 2012 Fall International Grand with the Hunting Retriever Club. It's an international organization in North America. We're sponsored by uh, the United Kennel Club. They put on these hunts twice a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. It's a five-day event, and each club around the United States is given an opportunity to host the, the event. My name is Michael Bullen. I'm uh, the hunt test secretary with the Three Rivers HRC. That's Hunting Retriever Club here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've had close to 400 dogs uh, it entered in this event and they're from all over North America, Canada, the United States, lower 48, and um, each dog that earns a uh, hunting retriever champion title uh, in their lifetime are invited to uh, try to achieve the, uh, the grand hunting retriever champion title, and that's where the GR comes in. And so each one of these dogs, they're invited to, to this event. They have to uh, pass four uh, duck hunting scenarios and a, uh, an upland hunting scenario. So five different hunting scenarios that they have to pass to achieve that, uh, that grand title. You know, it's, 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 an interesting, uh, it's an interesting life of a retriever. Uh, they can be Labrador retrievers, Chesapeake retrievers. We have Boinkin Spaniels that, uh, that are water dogs. Uh, a lot of them are high-powered, rich-blooded, bred specifically for this. Just an average lab doesn't always have the ability to come out and do this type of work. It takes, uh, it takes great mental uh, ability. They have to remember the ducks. They have to know how to count. They have to know how to be steady. Most of the dogs that are here average in age from three to nine years old. Uh, there's been a few younger, but very few, uh, to be able to reach this level. Not all dogs are the high-blooded ones. I actually own a, a rescue dog, a dog that I picked up out of the dog pound at 12 weeks old but she showed some great ability and we worked on her and, and have brought her up to the HRCH level. Don't think she'll ever make the, the GR side, but you know, she, she's, uh, she's my, uh, my buddy and we do a lot of hunting together. HRC is, uh, is an organization that is, uh, was conceived uh, by hunters for hunters. We, uh, we, we believe in hunter safety. Everybody out here that uh, belongs to the HRC, the judges, the committee members, the club members, all of us have gone through our hunter safety courses. So I, I've, I've done some demonstrations for different people and uh, they, they, they tend to be interested in the marks where that's the dog setting and they see the, the mark fall and the dog goes and retrieves it. But I get the most interest from people when they, they see a blind. And what a blind is, and why they call it a blind, is it's a, it's a duck that has been shot that's blind to the dog. The dog did not see the duck. The dog did not see the duck fall. The handler or the owner did or should. And what you do is you have different hand techniques, voice commands, body language that lines the dog up and puts them, puts their nose and tail should be in a straight line pointing at where you believe that that blind duck should be and once you have that dog lined up then you can give them a release command usually it's a uh, back or uh, sometimes it's their name but mostly it's back and the dog should run a straight line toward that duck and so as that dog advances toward that blind using whistle commands or hand commands the, uh, the handler can direct that dog and place it specifically on the duck. And uh, with the grand being here, we get an opportunity to see these guys that have been doing this their entire lives, 30, 40 years. And uh, they've, uh, they've come in and, and get a chance to see what Three Rivers HRC is about, uh, how hard we work, how good of a club that we are. Uh, they've all seemed really pleased about uh, the event that we hit, we helped host. It's just it's been a good honor. Thank you guys. Good job.